What's up guys? I have to pop the quiz here and I have a bobby of saliva. What's up? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm yeah. very lonely. Lonely? Yeah. I got nobody next oh, to me. Man. It's just me. Well, maybe next time we can have someone sitting on a couch with you. I know. Everyone else, they're sleeping. Oh. Uh. Dang. So did you have like a rough night last night? With, why are they sleeping? No. Yeah. Well, we just, uh, we had a couple days off. Okay. Um, uh, we were in Atlanta last night and uh, we had a bunch of shows last week and stuff like Texas and Florida before that. Just kind of making our rounds. Uh, we're heading to Virginia um, tomorrow. Just here in uh, North Carolina, Kennersville. A yeah. frosty outside. I just heard the unfortunate news that tonight's mm -hmm. show is actually canceled. Yeah. Due to the venue, not because of you guys. Well, you know. It's just uh, we have a lot of gear and stuff that we're touring with that's pretty expensive and anytime there's a you know roof leak or anything like that it's, it's usually a uh, not a good not a good sign of the show going to happen. Definitely. So, so you got any special message for your Kerners Rule fans here? We are extremely sorry and we will make it up. We promise we will come back and definitely uh, make the show up. That's that's 100% from me. So definitely. All right. So you joined the band in 2012. Yeah, well, 2011. 2011. December. Got it. But, but yeah, I mean, 2012 is when the first show was. So. Okay, and you're younger than the other guys? No, I'm older. You're older? I just look good. No, okay. I'm kidding. So kidding. No, um, yes, much younger. This is how, how is that dealing with older guys? Like, is there ever any. Dealing with guys in general is always awful. <laughs> um, they're very. Uh, very seasoned. They've been doing this a long time. Mm -hmm. um, I've, you know, I've been in music my whole life and, and stuff too. And, you know, as far as saliva goes, it's just kind of this is their thing. You know, and we, I got in the band and um, everything just just gelled like immediately. And I don't even really consider an age difference as much at all. I mean, you know, you know, we've been touring heavily now for two years and made a record. Record will be out April 29th. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's, this is saliva, you know? Me and <laughs> these empty seats around me. This is saliva. It's great, yeah. Because, <laughs> you know. So can you yeah. tell us anything about the upcoming record? Um, yeah, it's called Rise Up. We, uh, we recorded it in Nashville. Um, spent about six weeks making it. Uh, wrote about two, two of the weeks. Um, we had a very fun time making it. Everyone really got to put, you know, have their own input, their own, um, express, you know, their, their ideas and stuff. And, um, yeah, it's definitely the record I think the band has wanted to make, you know, for several years now. Um, so we, we just dove right into the writing, you know, and, um, I think previous Saliva records before it was almost like, oh, it's time to make a record. All right, let's go do it. And just, mm -hmm. you know, <sighs> crap it out or whatever. But, um, yeah, we, we wanted to focus on the songwriting and make sure that the record had a little bit for everybody, you know, it's old school saliva stuff and, you know, just try new things and, and have the lyrics, you know, mean something and get like to the depth of, of uh, what we wanted to express. But keep it still rock and cool. So um, we feel we made a great record. Um, we hope that the fans feel the same way. You know, the saliva fans are really, really special and uh, mean everything to us because Without them, we can't do we can't do any of this. So, I've been very um, blessed and fortunate to meet a lot of hardcore Saliva fans and people that have you know accepted me and stuff. So it's definitely a great honor to, to be a part of. It, so. Definitely. So, what comes into the writing process for you guys? The writing process. Uh, well, I mean, someone brings up an idea or like a riff or something. Uh, whether it's Wayne start a riff or I start a riff or you know, Paul has a concept on you know, like a like he had this idea to write a song about his ex-wife who's completely crazy <laughs> um i hope she's watching no i'm just kidding uh but yeah so we have a song called she can sure hide crazy on the record it's a fun one we play live it goes over really well and uh so you know that was just he had this concept and idea and so i started jamming a riff and then you know wayne chimes in dave chimes in and we all kind of just mold the song together that way and um there's a song on the record called lost that's one of my favorites. Um, it's about overcoming 
um, addiction, you know, battling drug addiction, or uh, whether it's a, or even a relationship or whatever. And the lyric in it is, um, the, the hook is lost for the last time. It's kind of that whole like standing up and, you know, I don't want to live my life this way anymore. And, you know, I know that there's, you know, something that is better, you know, tomorrow for me. So, um, love that song. There's a lot of different stuff, man. There's a song, A Thousand Eyes, that we wrote. That's The riff is just insanely sick and, like, sounds like nothing Saliva's has ever done before. And, oh, boy. Uh, but it's a song we actually wrote for The Walking Dead. We targeted Walking Dead for that. And is it actually going to be on The Walking Dead? I wish. Well, maybe they'll see this and be like, I, I oh, wish. we're going to take that. Yeah. No. But The Walking Dead. So, yeah, the uh, song, A Thousand Eyes. Um, Targeted for Walking Dead, um, one of the producers had actually um, was friends with another mutual friend of ours and was like, man, I love Saliva, man, it'd be cool if they, you know, would like, write a song or something for, for the show or, or whatever. So, of course, we got super excited because it's only one of the best shows on TV and mm -hmm. um, I'm into, like, zombies and all that horror stuff and, and, and stuff anyway, but... So it was like a no-brainer. The way that riff came out and, and everything, it just sounded just evil and cool. And um, We've actually had people say, not even know that that's what the song was about. And, and had a dude that was in the military that fought in like, Iraq or whatever, when he heard it, he was like, man, he goes, dude, that's like, that's me. That was me, like, like toting a gun, like, yeah. by myself, like, in battle. So I never actually thought of it that way, but it's pretty cool and unique that there's two different we thought I'm like Walking Dead and like that whole perception and then this guy's got his own thing, you know, well, you know, the military thing. So it's really, really, really cool. Um, but yeah, this record, like I said, Rise Up, uh, that single is, uh, that's her first single. Um, and that's about standing up, you know, living no regrets. Uh, tomorrow, you know, could be the end. That's kind of the, the hook in that song and you just kind of rise up and just face the day. And, you know, yeah. make the changes in your life that, you know, you're not promised tomorrow. So, um, we're excited about the record. I mean, that's really all I can, I can say. And, uh, we hope that the fans get it and react to it. And, you know, we're, this is what we do. We play rock and roll for a living and, um, I can't change a tire. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. So, you know, we, we want to, you know, keep doing this thing. So. So if you weren't doing music, what would you be doing? Changing tires. Even though you don't know how. <laughs> you would learn how to change a tire. I would just learn, yeah. Um, you know what? Like, I, I really love, you know, working in the studio. I do a lot of studio work and production and stuff like that. And, um, but if, if I was like completely couldn't do music at all, man, I need, <laughs> to, I need to find a really rich woman or something. I don't know. <laughs> you know. So you're uh, single out there for all the ladies? I am actually, I'm going to say I'm not single. Okay, so you're taken. Yeah, so you're not yeah, available. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, you have the music thing, so you I could say, I could say I'm single, but I know someone who'd be really upset if they heard me say that. Got so, it. Yeah. All right. Well, what's the ultimate goal for Saliva? Sell 100 million records and retire on a beach somewhere. No. Um... Obviously, every band wants to be successful. I mean, mm -hmm. that's, you know, we obviously, we do this because we love rock and roll and we love to tour and we love meeting new people. Um, but I mean, you know, it's like, you want your music to be heard and, and, and you know, that's that's how I feel. You know, we, we want to spread it around to whoever will listen and whoever will just give it a shot and believe in the band. And uh, the live show is extremely important to us. Uh, and to me, and um, as well, being the front man and singer, like I really take it, just take it serious, and we have to, not like a mystique serious, oh my god, I gotta hide behind black curtains, but um, it just, I know it's important to people who paid money to see the band, um, so, you know, it's, it's definitely important to me to put on a show for them, to where they can walk away and tell their friends about, so. Definitely. All right. Well, you guys got anything new coming up, like music videos or just we the album? We shot a video for for the first single, Rise Up. We did it uh, about two weeks ago in Miami. Okay. And um, it's pretty much done, and uh, we're just waiting to release that. But we're super stoked about it. the theme and the topic of it and the, the whole script behind it. it was really, really, really cool. 
So we'll be seeing that in the next few weeks, or hopefully, yeah. All right. Hopefully. Well, we look forward to it. You got any last words for us? I don't know. I'm gonna put on the spot. See, I have no one around me to help me out with any of this stuff. Totally solo. <laughs> um, no, you know, just uh, thanks for you know watching whoever's you know watching it, and uh, thank you for having me. And um, saliva, 2014. Tell your friends. Tell your enemies. And uh, yeah, April 29th, rise up. All right, Ash Pop players checking out here. Later, guys.